Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be demonstrating you how to uh, make the best Tinker's Construct tutorial, uh, Tinker's Construct Cleaver. Um, I know I've done this before but um, I have two reasons to do this again. First because the huge amount of views and likes I got on that video, it's amazing guys for someone with 37 subscribers. And, and I um, saw that I made a boo-boo in that video uh, actually too it was by far not the strongest I looked at it and I'm such an idiot so um, yeah let's immediately get started so what's most important in Tinker's Construct is modifiers this is what makes the weapon uh, as strong as it is if you do not have enough modifiers your weapons won't be as strong as it is with modifiers uh, modifiers can be added in this um wait what yeah modifiers can be added in this um, mod um, and I'm gonna make the cleaver for you right now so first off you want to start off with the stencil table uh, with the stencil table you can make all parts um, real quick in a stencil I got them here pre-made but as you can see you can find them all except for one the cutlass which I'll, uh, um, the cutlass is found in the village I, uh, I have a video on my channel go check that one out about the cutlass so I got them here I got the tool rod pattern the large blade pattern and the large plate pattern uh, I got some paper and some wood so uh, we're gonna skip this one for now I'm gonna immediately go to the part builder we wanna make two paper tool rods oops I made a boo boo See, even I make mistakes. <laughs> Here, tough rod. We want to make tough rods. Oh, gosh, this is embarrassing. I wanted to do this without any mistakes. Well, anyway, here, you want to make two paper tough rods. And then, next up, you want to make two paper large plate patterns. Um, this is one of the mistakes I made. I didn't make these. Um, so, I'm going to quickly do this we don't need these anymore now what you want to do is you want to make um, let me throw this away as well and this as well there we go and now you want to make the cleaver um, blade pattern uh, wooden large short blade um, we won't be using this but we're gonna put this into the casting table we will select gold and we will oh gosh are you kidding me smeltery drain oh gosh oh gosh stinkers construct I made a mistake no oh gosh this is embarrassing frying pan wait wait a minute oh here we go seared fall shit here we go sorry for this okay so you want to select gold and then you want to do this this will take up three uh two ingots um of gold we want to throw this away now and then you want to put the large blade cast into here i'm going to make this out of manulin but you can also make it out of steel steel's easy to get um you might want to look it up in the ni way i'm using the crack pad mod now not the um take it a b team uh, molten manulin uh, this will take eight ingots because it's a cleaver and a cleaver takes a lot of ingots and uh, which means we're now left with 28 ingots when it's done right yeah 28 okay so we get this we got our parts let's go to the tool forge the tool forge is the part where you make your weapon now be aware this is an upgraded tool forge if you go here tool forge oops um this is an upgraded version didn't want that i wanted the recipe we need iron blocks syrup bricks and um, a regular tool station which is made you know, using a blank pattern and a crafting table i got a question on that um like if, if you do if you use the god damn it if you use this one um the cleaver won't show up so let's get started you want to click on cleaver here and then we are going to oops i made one too many 
We go to here like this now we got six modifiers already on it and I'm gonna name it the cleaver because we're that special the cleaver yes tutorial cleaver okay um let's throw that away and this as well so now we're gonna go to the modifiers. The modifiers are um, also a very important thing. These are the two. This is the first modifier: easy to get, uh, diamond, gold, and block. Well, the diamond isn't easy to get, but it's the easiest modifier to get itself. After that comes the golden apple, and I'm, this is the notch apple, which is made using um, apples are already hard to find. <laughs> And um, blocks of gold um, surrounding it, and this is obviously obtained you by killing the wither. So here we go. We want to go to our regular um, tool forge. This is where you modify your tool. And um, yes, first off, you want to start with the first modifier. The first modifier will be like this seven modifiers eight modifiers nine modifiers so the cleaver is now has got nine modifiers now this is amazing um, so now you're gonna get some blocks of quartz where is my tool station Tool station, tool forge, might as well. Tool forge. So here we go. We're gonna go in here, and then you wanna just max out and spam the. Um, I'm gonna do this so it goes a lot quicker. Um, max out on quartz so you have no more modifiers remaining. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna skip this part again because this is very boring for you to watch So now that we got an almost maxed out cleaver. I just want to say wait No, not yet um, I am using this tutorials, um, but I am also using some moss. So I'm gonna Take this And then I'm gonna put this on here and here we go, we now have an almost maxed out cleaver. So yeah, just wait. We are done with putting the quartz on it and here is the result. As you can see, oh, it has 23.5 hearts of damage, which means you can one hit um, literally everything now. Um, from horses. Sorry for I'm sorry to the horse lovers, but um, yeah, this is just for a tutorial. Raw beef, okay. And um, now let's spawn in something very strong. Villager golem. So a golem, an iron golem, has um. 100 health which means we should get him in five hits or less here we go one two three three freaking hits you can almost oh two hits if you if you go if you go insane like if you go like crits then um, you do like there you go so you do about 50 hearts of damage <laughs> straight away like there you go 50 hearts done um yeah not 50 hearts really actually 20 hearts but you know what i mean i mean guys that's amazing so um here you go the um strongest um, cleaver you can ever make be aware that this is my strongest cleaver there is no um fire on it because that's um something i don't really like on a cleaver itself and I've left out the beheading. Um, it's already got a 20% chance of beheading. And the durability is very high. 
um, plus it repairs itself um, so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video and subscribe for more tutorials next up will be the rapier tutorial the rapier sounds too long next up will be the rapier my favorite pvp weapon and also my favorite weapon just just my favorite weapon um, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye Full